All right, everyone, welcome back to Schmatz Outdoors. Uh, so I'm going through editing the uh, flushing video for my coyote series. And I uh, just went through the uh, skinning of the ear cartilage of the coyote. And I'm gonna make that a separate video here so you guys can find it a little bit easier. So there's actually gonna be an extra installment or you're watching the extra installment to my coyote series here. There's gonna be just the taking the ear cartilage out of a coyote or off the coyote when I'm fleshing them. So I'm just gonna take a section of this video that is already in my fleshing video, but I'm just gonna cut it out and put it as its own standalone video here for you guys to watch. You know, so you guys can come back if you have issues. You don't have to watch that entire video. You can just watch this short little video here. So again, uh, it may start a little bit abruptly and end a little bit abruptly, but again, I'm cutting it out of my other video. Uh, so if you guys have any uh, questions after watching this, uh, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys have a better way of doing it or what you think is a better way of doing it or a different tip and trick that... Uh, I may try or other people might want to try please leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching okay we're pushing right back towards the ear here so there is like a little piece of cartilage that always sticks kind of forward from where the ear hole so I'm kind of pushing that back once you get under it pushing that back into the ear you know keep doing the cheek a little here until I get all the way back to the ear hole. All right. Next thing we do, this is one thing again, you don't do on any of the other species is take the cartilage out of the ears. So usually it's connected between the two ears. I just take my knife and cut that little bit of membrane. And what I'm gonna do here you kind of see there's like this little ridge of meat and that will go right up to this cartilage here. This is the cartilage of the ear. So I'm gonna kind of pull out on that and I'm gonna just kind of lightly cut right next to the skin until you get that membrane cut off. And I typically trim that off of the side of the cheek so it's not dangling there. Throw it in my pail. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, take that meat and throw it in my pail. All right, now we're just gonna turn the ear and get the ear up on the top here. We'll do it with both sides. I typically start with the animal's left ear or the ear that's on my right hand side, which is this one. So on the outside of the ear, coyotes and fox have this little extra like cavity on the side of the ear there on the outside of the ear and then on the part towards the inside of the head it doesn't have that and that's important show, coming up here so I'm going to show you why so to get the cartilage out of the ear here's the trick so I don't use a pliers or anything like that I just use my hands and the knife so what I'm doing is I'm going to lay my fingers flat like that with the cartilage on the top and my fingers kind of inside the ear but they're back here on the actual hide I want to keep and you can see how nice and flat that uh, weaves the ear so when I'm gonna cut I'm gonna basically push down right onto my fingers and then kind of just cut parallel to my fingers I don't want to cut down towards my fingers because obviously you could cut your finger but you're gonna cut through the pelt so I'm trying to keep it as parallel to my fingers as I can keep it and I'm gonna start right here where the cartilage ends I'm gonna get my knife under that and then I'm just gonna kinda of slice and pull towards myself so I'm just using my thumb there and I'm kinda of pinching the cartilage to my other fingers to hold it nice and tight and then I'm slicing basically where it's cutting is it's cutting the edge of the ear so you can see like it cut let's see you can get so you can see it you know it cut a I don't know three quarters of an inch back away from the edge here now we're gonna kind of turn and we're gonna do the same thing so what I did is I pulled my uh, pelt I don't know six eight inches off of my beam that way I get a little more slack on my ear all right on the inside you can see how it kind of balls up a little bit there I take my knife again and I got my fingers laid like this and we're gonna kind of slice right up my fingers here 
it kind of balls up a little bit right there, but I actually trim part of that off. So I'm actually kind of pinching right on the edge of that fur there. And I'm gonna slice kind of in there and get it going. You can see it's kind of cutting through that little ridge there. Okay. And now you can see where I'm to where that kind of meat was when I trimmed, you know, the basically the meat from the head. When I trimmed that off, there's kind of that ridge of meat. I want to make sure I'm cutting under that as I'm going here. And again, I'm kind of slicing this way, I'm not putting a lot of pressure towards me. I'm just kind of slicing the outside of the ear because I got to get the outside of the ear started. And you see right here, I'm actually under the cartilage. So the cartilage is on top. We want to weave this, the, this is the back of the ear, even though it looks like it's the front right now because it's inside out. We want to weave this part of it on the pelt and we want to take the inside of the ear off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tip the ear up and I'm going to go right where the hide meets the ear cartilage here. And we're just going to kind of slice that membrane a little bit all the way across here. Try to leave as much of that membrane on the cartilage side because I don't want it on my pelt side. All right, so it's very important to make sure that you get cut under the cartilage all the way to the edge of the ear out there. Sometimes it's hard to get it actually under the cartilage all the way out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my knife down over there on my table and I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna just kind of roll my thumb down. So I'm squeezing the hide right here, just behind the cartilage. And I'm kind of squeezing the cartilage with this ear, putting a little tension and then I'm gonna kind of roll my thumb in there. I need to cut a little more of that membrane here. There we go. All right, we'll try that again here. All right, so it's starting to pull right down the edge of that ear. I'm trying to do it slow so you can see what's going on. And then I'm just kind of pushing the middle part of the ear off. So I start basically on what would be the inside of the ear and I go all the way up and then around the outside of the ear. So I'm just going to keep going. So I'm literally just kind of pinching and pulling. And when you get it cut down here to begin with all the way to the edge of the ear, it will basically rip right up the edge of the ear all the way around. Okay. We're going to go around. Okay. Now I'm to the tip of the ear. So I basically just grab both tips, the cartilage tip and the hide tip. And I just pull apart all the way down and it'll get me right to the end. So it will weave that little extra part of the goofy edge on my uh, ear. I will actually take, you know, you could see how it kind of weaves a little bit of an extra tab there. I usually just try to trim that off. Okay. So there you can kind of see that kind of dull part that didn't have hair in it before. There's no cartilage under that, so I don't need to take it off. So that ear is done, just like that. Okay, we'll go over to this side. So I like to start on the outside of the ear, get just underneath that cartilage. I'm kind of pinching with my fingers and slicing, making sure I'm staying under the cartilage, you know, between the hide and the cartilage on that side. We'll grab the inside of the ear here, kind of get it laid flat. I was having a little tough time getting it started there. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure I get underneath that cartilage all the way to the edge of the ear here. So when I start to pull it, so you can see the cartilage, I'm all the way right to the edge of the ear. So when I start to pull, I'll be good, but I'm going to go all the way from one side to the other here and kind of just kind of cut that membrane. And that helps you pull the cartilage off the ear. If you leave that, it's very hard to pull and rip that. So I try to get that all the way, kind of released all the way across. There's probably a little bit right here. 
you can see there's really like no membrane going between the the actual hide and the cartilage anymore so now i should be able to pull that guy off of there set my knife down and again i start on the inside of the ear the ear the part of the ear that's towards the middle of the head and we're going to kind of take my finger and i just kind of pushed my thumb in there and then kind of roll it right along the edge of that guy push the middle of the ear off a little go right down the edge of that ear I know some guys use pliers and other things to do it. You can do this any way you would like, but you do have to remove the cartilage out of there or you'll have issues with the uh, hair slipping because the cartilage won't let, the, let it dry. Okay, that time that extra little flap that I trimmed on this ear peeled right off the ear. So it's not, there's no little flap on that side of the ear. All right, so that's, that's actually one of the bigger pain in the butts about fleshing a coyote is taking care of the ears. All right, guys, again, that was just a snippet out of my fleshing video. Uh, it's removing the ear cartilage and that was it. That's all I wanted in this video. Just try and keep it short and simple so you guys can come back and find it if you need it. Uh, again, if you guys got tips and tricks, leave them down below. Uh, I'm happy to hear them. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Um, Otherwise, we'll see you on the next Schmatz Outdoors video.